Welcome back, everyone, for another edition of Morgan Dollar Mondays with Massabesi Gold and Silver. Today, we're going to be looking at a new purchase that I made. Uh, it arrived over the weekend, a nice 1890 San Francisco Morgan Silver Dollar. But before we get into all of that, I am Dean with Massabesi Gold and Silver, and I hope you consider liking and subscribing to our channel if this is the first time you're joining us. For the rest of you who keep coming back each week and have already subscribed, truly, I appreciate you. I appreciate the fact that you keep coming back each week and commenting on my videos. So here is our 1891S. I wanted to bring this back for this video because they are um, so close to each other here, the 1890, 1891. Um, and just to kind of refresher, this is a beautiful uh, graded Mint State 63 by PCGS. Uh, it also has the green bean from CAC. Uh, this is just a really, really beautiful coin. Blast white. Have some really, really nice luster here. You can see here as I turn it in the light, look how beautiful that luster is. You pretty much can get lost in it here. A um, little frostiness too to the uh, devices, especially on the Eagle. Uh, this is just a really great example of a nice Mint State 63 uh, 91S. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I purchased this. I purchased it at the end of 2023. Uh, I did make a video on it. I will put that in the uh, description. So if any of you missed that video and you'd like to go back and check that out, uh, please do so. I'm showing it to you today because again, I just can't stop looking at this coin. I just really love the luster um, on this, uh, on this, um, especially on the reverse. The, the obverse is nice as well, but the reverse just has amazing luster. Um, just everything about this coin uh, is fantastic. And I'm really glad that uh, I picked it up for our collection at, uh, at Massabesic Gold and Silver. Uh, let's just look at the fields here. Just really nice. You know, it definitely is a Mint State 63, but um, just really, really nice uh, overall. Um, here, let's put that up a little higher. And let's break out the uh, 1890S. So this is what I got over the weekend. Um, I picked this up the end of last week. Uh, really super fast shipping. This is a graded coin by CACG. Um, I really uh, like their grading, um, but that is another video. Um, this coin here really piqued my interest, and when I checked it out, the photos were decent. Yeah, it has some carbon spots there up in the hair by Liberty, um, but overall, uh, you know, I think the luster is very comparable to the other coin that we have. Uh, the reverse is nice, a little subdued because there's some toning here, um, but overall a great, great coin. Um, you know, these are not uh, rare, but they can be a little bit tougher, uh, you know, San Francisco to find out there. Um, I should say, especially in Mint State 64 and above, especially in Mint State 65, they can be quite rare. Um, so in, in lower mint state grades, you can find them. Uh, Bowers talks about these coins that, um, basically the 1890s, uh, dollars were, uh, placed into circulation at or near the time of the mintage. Uh, many of these were, um, stored at the San Francisco mint. Um, and you know, they were there for a long time, but then over a long period of years, occasional bags were released. So as a result, the 1890s, is one of those San Francisco Mint issues that has never really been rare, uh, especially in Mint State. Quite a contrast to the 1889S sibling, as he writes. Um, in the 1940s and 50s, many bags were paid out from the San Francisco Mint. So many, in fact, that the date became extremely common. Not having a low mintage uh, figure to bolster their appeal, most of these coins actually slipped into circulation uh, They where they became quickly uh, AU and EF coins, or extremely fine coins. This one here you can see is definitely not extremely fine or AU. Uh, looking at the surfaces here, we can see that this is a well-struck coin. Uh, Bowers also says that a lot of these will have dye polish on them. This one does not. Um, you know, it does have some, uh, you know, like the carbon spots that I pointed out before, but it still has some beautiful luster. It does have some, uh, some contact marks. I'm um, just looking here, but overall, this has got uh, a very nice strike, very nice luster, um, and just as a great coin overall. Um, you know, this is just uh, one of those coins that you want to add to your collection if you're if you're trying to um, you know get some coins that are not necessarily uh, as common as say the 80s or the 81s. 
Uh, but it's just really beautiful. Um, he does say, you know, take your time, uh, find a really good one. Uh, most of them are good, but he says there are some that you want to stay away from. This one is not. This is a nice Mint State 63 from CACG. Um, I really like CACG's website. I'm going to just show you here. Gives you the grade, gives you a common price, the population. Um, and it even gives you a little description how this is a tougher S Mint Morgan um, that is wi widely available in circulated levels and becomes notably scarce above Mint State 64 and rare and gem grades. Um, it goes on, but um, I do want to just also note, I love that they take pictures of the coin. So you can kind of compare the CACG pictures um, to the eBay sellers pictures. Cause sometimes they, um, you know, don't take the best pictures. So this one, when I saw it, I, uh, didn't have a 90 S. So when I saw this coin, I said, you know, I'm going to put a, put an offer in. And I thought my offer was good. And clearly the seller thought it was good. So, uh, they got it off to me right away. Um, both these coins, like I said, I really, really, really like, I will say the 91 S does look a little bit more flashier because it doesn't have that, uh, kind of that darker toning but um, again these are just great coins to own and and I'm trying to put together that um, San Francisco set um, probably by the end of this year at least that's my hope so I'll be working on that this year um, so you will be seeing some more San Francisco's um, probably not all in mint state because uh, some of the San Francisco's uh, I'd be spending tens of thousands of dollars um, in order to um, complete that set if I was getting mint state so you will be seeing some worn grades but uh, but for now you're looking at two really beautiful um, choice coins um, that uh, that I'm ha really glad that I added to our collection here at Massabesa gold and silver um, really comparable I think overall to each other um, just really nice uh, one other thing I wanted to add with the 1890s um, some of these can have uh, some cloudy spots on them, and uh, Bowers notes that that uh, is most likely from dampness after striking. Um, so some of these will have that. Uh, this one does not, doesn't seem to have any uh, cloudy spots, but, uh, but that's just something to consider too if you're cherry picking a nice 90S. Well, that's it for now. Um, I didn't want to end on a downer, but um, you know, it's a pretty important event. Um, for the year 1890, uh, it was December 29th, 1890. That was when the Battle of Wounded Knee occurred. Most people today don't refer to it as a battle. They refer to it as the Wounded Knee Massacre, where nearly 300 Lakota people were shot and killed by the United States Army. It was considered a botched attempt to disarm uh, the Lakota people when in fact they actually weren't armed and they were defenseless um, and hence why they were considered to be massacred. Um, so sorry to end on a downer, but uh, that is an incredibly uh, important piece of history. Well, if you're still watching after all that, um, until we meet again, stay safe and continue to enjoy.